Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on my clean makeup look. Uh, plus I'm going to do my hair in this video. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So to me, the idea behind a clean makeup look is just to look as natural as possible when you go out in public. I don't necessarily worry about a lot of my imperfections when completing a clean makeup look. Of course, I like to cover up the darkness under my eyes as much as possible, but overall, for the most part, I'm trying to get a seamless, glowy, soft look. Just something that I can wear out in public where people won't <laughs> turn heads and be like, okay, what's going on? I don't, I don't want that. Now, do I do makeup like that? Most definitely. Do I like it? Yes but I'm talking about when I get ready to go out um, in daylight. All right, so I'm just going to have a side screen come in and I'm gonna talk about the products and you will actually see me apply them. Also, I will have a timestamp below so you can skip to the part where I'm doing my hair. I did have a request to do that, so that's why I decided to include it in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so right here you can see me using the Lip Bar Just a Tint 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner. You all, this this is so beautiful on the skin and it is clean it is vegan it contains hyaluronic acid and it's black owned if that's something that matters to you now it is sheer buildable coverage it does have eight inclusive shades it has rose water and hyaluronic acid it has Irish sea moss extract and cucumber extract it has a SPF of 11 it's oil free and it can be worn alone or under foundation so this this is a beautiful tint guys to wear out in public it is very light you can build it up a little bit but I would suggest not going past a little bit because it can because it can become absolutely too much on the skin all of the ingredients on it actually feels like you're putting a moisturizer on your skin like literally a moisturizer on your skin and I absolutely love how it looks out in the Sun it's very beautiful and it just kind of gives you a very natural from within glow and it's totally gorgeous all right so right here you can see me putting on the lip bar quick conceal and this particular concealer has caffeine in it and this is going to be very light coverage this is also clean it's vegan and black owned it's infused with skin loving ingredients to hydrate nourish and smooth the skin with coverage enough to brighten conceal and awaken and right here you can actually see me just kind of blending in the concealer with a just a small brush because I want to keep as much product on the skin as possible I do go in with a second layer under my eyes just because I want more coverage to cover up my darkness that you can see plus I have it also um, uh, on my eyes and since this concealer contains caffeine it's really going to wake up your eyes I don't know if any of you all have used any type of caffeine products under your eyes but those are really good to just kind of waken up the eyes and just kind of address any bags or things like that that you may suffer with under your eyes if you haven't tried it you definitely should because um, while it doesn't take it away completely it definitely does help all right so next up I'm using my wet n wild mega glow contouring palette and I've talked about this before it's super cheap out of the drugstore it blends very well let me tell you I've used some high-end powders that blend horribly they aggravate my allergies and just they just do the most but this particular one I do have allergies and some powders really aggravate my allergies this one does not it plays very well with creams and other powders it blends well it blurs well and I love it plus I love the fact that it's cheap all right so next up I'm using the lip bar set the tone finishing powder and the shade is golden girl this particular powder is going to give you light to medium buildable coverage it has a, a matte finish it's vegan and cruelty free and as you can see I'm just using that powder to set everything I have to say that what I like the most about this particular powder even though it is matte it does give a velvety soft smooth look and in person guys it is gorgeous all right so right here I'm just using a morphe bronzer and this the shade is leader I really do like this shade I think it works really well with my complexion I'm not even sure if they sell this particular bronzer anymore if they do I'll definitely put it down below 
and guys I hate to be on repeat with a lot of the makeup that I use in my videos but over the years I've collected so much and it's just time for me to use it up I have to use up and show love to what I have but this is a really pretty bronzer and as you can see it kind of it's giving off a little bit of a, a red hue just a little bit and I know that kind of turns some people off but they have other shades um, of course with the bronzer you can go a little bit cooler just a little bit or you can uh, go red you know th the list goes on and on of what you can do with a bronzer all right so in this clip I'm doing my brows and I'm using the Sharon C uh, eyebrow pencil by Oma and it has a pencil on one side and and a brush or a, a little uh, gel on the other side that you can use really really nice I got these at uh, Walmart I actually have two so if you're looking for something by Oma Beauty that is another black owned brand you could definitely check them out I think it works well and I just fill them in lightly I don't do the most uh, especially with the brows when I'm going out now when I go out at night <laughs> <laughs> like on a date or, or a concert or I'm going to be out at night then yeah I can go full on glam because you know you really you really want uh, uh, your look to show you really want it because it's nighttime but if it's daytime you want to do a little different you want to do something a little different all right so right here I have a pure highlighter and it looks like that's blurry so let me show it to you uh, I think this is DC I bought this I think last year it was a year before last I'm not sure but this is it and I wanted to use this because it kind of comes off with a little bit of not really red but it's kind of pink and it looks like you kind of have on a blush a little bit so I decided to use that as my highlight all right, so for my eyes, I'm going to use this cookie highlighter by Benefit, and I'm just going to apply that on my lid to just kind of give a shimmery metallic look. And now I'm going to use my bronzer to put in my crease. And after I have all of that applied, I do pull in an eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use is the Too Faced. Uh, natural nudes palette just to kind of blend out that bronzer a little more so I'm just going to blend that out and then next up I go in with my morphe liquid lipstick then after that I use my Juvia's Place lip gloss it looks really pretty on the lips so if you're into lip glosses that are super shiny definitely check those out right here i am applying my eyeliner and this is a matte eyeliner by uh, by sephora eyeliners that dry matte are my loves i love those and right here i am going in with my maracuja miracle mist setting spray this has maracuja oil which is rich in fatty acids it also has vitamin c for firmer or bright and brighter smoothing skin it has rose water which is going to help maintain your ph balance it has cucumber water which suits and helps maintain a healthy complexion it has papaya extract which helps rejuvenate skin with brightening properties this is one of my favorite setting mist and not only does it have all of that good stuff in it it feels super good on the skin and the mister is divine you're never ever going to get those uh, splotches <laughs> of setting spray on the skin that's just not going to happen so with all that this is the final look. Um, this is my version of a clean makeup look. It's definitely not perfect, okay? It's definitely not perfect and you can really get this on quickly. It's not something that's going to take a long time and you already know with the eyes, you don't even have to do the most because I did put on three different shades. You know that you can just go in with your bronzer and be through with it. So now let's get into hair. All right, so this is how I sleep. I sleep with a little satin bonnet on and I just put my hair uh, back in a little puff or a little ponytail if you will so right here I'm just taking that out so just to give you a little background on myself I do have my cosmetology license which I obtained when I was 17 you guys also I'm not one to watch hair videos I don't watch hair videos I, I learned how to do my hair and I've been doing my hair for the longest I'm gonna be 51 in September so the way that I'm doing my hair it works for me I do not use any type of combs in my hair I haven't used combs in my hair for years that's a no-no I don't do that I detangle my hair with my hands and I always try to use products that are going to keep my hair soft 
and uh, not hard. I always keep it hydrated and moisturized. Now I'm gonna go in with my Curls Aloe and Blueberry Juice. This is a curl moisturizer. Now, once I find products that work for me and my hair, because it is, it is very coarse, as you can see, um, I stick with it because once my hair, it, it's, it's really hard and it's frustrating for me to buy a product and my hair hates it. Then I have to go hunting and I, I just can't do that. And right here, you can just see me detangling my hair. I do get a little bit of shed. So when I do see any type of shedding, I understand and know that that's something natural. And the next product that I'm going to apply, which most people will probably frown on, but my hair loves it. I gotta do what my hair likes. I uh, spray on the hair and scalp spray comb out conditioning and this is for extra dry hair and I just go ahead and spray that and I go ahead and work that into my hair and then the last step as far as hair products that I use is the cocoa tree detangling G with barley grass and nettle leaf and this softens and detangles thick dry hair and I have to always get products that are really going to help condition and soften thick dry because you can best believe everything that you see me putting on my hair when I wake up it's not going to be there anymore my hair just drinks it up it just <laughs> like literally it drinks it up so if it looks like I'm putting on a lot really I should be putting on more so I'm just kind of working that through and I'm actually putting in putting on more and they have new packaging now I think the, the uh, label is now all brown, but I love it. I've been using this product for years and it is a very thick product and that's what I use. So I'm going in and just working that through my hair and that's gonna take a second. So right here, I'm just kind of showing you how long my hair is. As you can see, um, I have shrinkage, but if I were to straighten my hair, that's where my hair would be, right there. And I'm gonna do a little uh, length check in the front just to kind of show you uh, that's where my hair goes if I were to straighten it, which I would never, ever. I know you're not supposed to say never, ever, but I would never put a relaxer on my hair. Another thing that I would never do is straighten my hair. Um, some people are always like, why don't you uh, have somebody straighten it so you can see how it looks straightened. I'm like, I already know what my hair looks like straightened. So I don't, I don't have that desire to see what it looks like straight. Plus, I love my hair like this. I absolutely love my hair like this. I really wish that I was natural when I was in high school. But as you all know, um, you know, wearing your hair like this, not in its natural state, it's just um, has historically been frowned upon. Well, not back in the 70s, the early 70s, the 60s and the 70s when people wore afros, but it's like you still hear stories of people not getting hired because they have their hair in their natural state. Uh, they can't come to school or you all know, you, you've heard of it. I don't need to tell you all, but um, right here, I'm just using a band that I cut and I'm actually going to wrap it around my hair. And I'm going to tie it in the back and just pull it up and tighten it. And it takes it for me, it just it takes a bit of you have to be careful because you don't want any of your hair to get caught up in that when you tie it. And remember guys, when you're using your bobby pins, the wavy part goes at the bottom at the base of the hair. The straight part goes at the top. I know you all know that, but I just thought I'd say it. Um, so I'm pinning, pinning that back because I don't want that to show. And after I get that done, I take a piece of hair on the side and I actually twist it. I take it like that and I twist it in two and I do a very light twist. Now you'll see when I do this particular style, some parts of the hair I will do a two strand twist very loosely because I want it puffy as possible. Okay, it, or maybe I should say I want a bigger uh, puff. You know, the bigger, the bigger the puff that you want, the looser that you want to pin your hair down. The smaller your puff or your bun, um, you pin it down really tight. 
So on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. Just gonna take some hair. And again, I'm going to do a two strand twist and I'm gonna loosely roll it up on the, on the tip of that at the end and I'm gonna pin it back. So I'm gonna do the same thing in the back of my hair. As you can see, I'm pulling it out and, and I'm gonna do a loose two strand twist, very loose and I'm going to roll it up loosely at the tip or at the end and I'm going to pin it in the back. Now again, you don't have to do the two strand twist. You can do it, you know, just roll it under. It just depends on the length of your hair. If you go back and look at um, some older videos of mine, you can see where my puff was uh, really smaller. Um, closer to my head. I didn't do the two strand twist because my hair was shorter. I just kind of, you know, tucked it under how I could. And for the most part, this style just depends on, you know, the length of your hair. That piece right there, um, as you can see, I didn't do the two, sp two strand twist because when I, once I get to the back, I still want that to be full as well. You know, I want that to be really puffy. And I just go around my head and do the same thing. Right here, I'm not going, let me see, did I do a two strand twist? I don't remember. And you know, it varies, cause you, you, you can see in my videos where my buns don't always look the same because sometimes I'll do it to the side or sometimes I'll, you know, do it more towards the back or more towards the front. It all depends on you. You know, this is just to kind of give you an idea. This is just to kind of give you an idea of how you can do your hair up in a bun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to kind of fast forward this and let you all see how I actually do it. And I just go around my hair and take it. You'll see, I'll take some hair, tuck it under, and I'm sorry, the my hair is kind of cut off at the top. I thought I had it, the camera, high enough. Cause see right here, you can see me, I'm just twisting it lightly on the tip and then I'm just pulling it back like that. And I didn't do a two strand because I want it to be really big and puffy. I wanted my hair to be as high as possible. If I could, I would wear my bun all the way <laughs> 10 feet to the sky, but I um, keep my hair trimmed. You know, I don't let it get past a certain length uh, because it is a lot to work with. I mean, my arms just doing this uh, uh, style, my arms uh, get tired. I'm sure, you know, your arms wouldn't, but it's just exhausting doing my hair. I'm always happy with it and how it looks, but it, it does take a lot to do my hair. And I'm just pulling it back. And as you can see, I do have some loose strands right there that I do need to, um, or how do they say, fairy knots? I do need to address those little fairy knots. <laughs> And just remember guys, when you have shedding, that's natural. Hundreds of strands daily. And I'm pulling in my last piece right here. And I'm just putting it in, pinning it back. And I probably will have to adjust the back because of course, when I'm sitting, you know, I can't see the back of my hair. When I go into the restroom, I have to actually look at it and see how I like it. But right here, right there in the back, it looked like it's a piece out of place, but that's pretty much it. Okay, and right here, I'm just using some edge control. And you know, it's so funny. Um, I used to uh, just kind of have the idea of, I don't want to use any edge control. What do you, I have natural hair. It's supposed to be curly, but you can even look on older videos where, you know, I would have little curly edges. Uh, but now, you know, I, with the edge control, with the edge control, and then I put a band around my hair just to keep it straight. And that's how I do it. So I'm doing that right here. And then I'm gonna pull up my band, okay? And I always put the edge control in the front. I don't put it in the back because my hair texture in the back is not 4C. My hair texture like in the back, like right, right here and right there is like maybe a four. Yeah, it's, it's like the tech, it's very, it's a very loose check. It's a very loose texture. So I don't need um, as much for that part. And right here, I'm just uh, pinning up 
the sides because I want it to be more, I want it to just kind of lay back more. And of course that wouldn't be necessary if my hair was straight. Like if I had a relaxer, it would automatically lay down, but because it's curly, you can see a lot of those curl, curls and uh, puffiness uh, coming through. So I'm just gonna pin that down. And remember when you're pinning, pinning uh, your hair down, pin it at a cross like this, uh, because that will help the hair lay down. It will be tight. So if you're tender headed, maybe you don't want to do that. But if you want it to actually lay down and you don't want those pins to go anywhere, cross them over like that. And I'm going to do the other side and then that's pretty much it. That's how I do my hair. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, you know, I know this is the way my the way I do my hair is probably unpopular <laughs> to whatever else other people are doing with their hair. but. At the end of the day, I have to do what's right for Bridget's hair, and this is what works for me. So yeah, um, that pretty much concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know um, what you think about the makeup, the, the uh, clean beauty makeup, and let me know what you think about the hair. Thanks so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.